All right, let's go over this uh, setup. Uh, nice trade. Hey, good job, uh, Derek, Leo, Cameron, on uh, catching that uh, move up. So let's take a look at these markets. So this morning we talked about um, uh, looking for a buy setup. We were bullish. And I said if we get outside a high value area, we're going to be majorly bullish. Uh, we did. Uh, broke outside of HBA, came down and had this big runner, 96 all the way up to uh, 09. So just a big move. This is what I'm talking about when you violate high value area. It got through high value here on our market profile. I said look for the big snapback. Sure did. Came right to my zone. My zone caught the low and um, got that nice little move up. Uh, depending on your fill, looks like around 98 would have been the fill at the high of that bar. Uh, so 98 potential all the way up to 109 or 4509. So 11 S&P point potential move. But uh, we always talk about the two time frames, how um, if you want to look for uh, big possible moves in any market, you got your 8 Renko over here, your 8 Sim Renko, and you got your 5 Sim Renko here. It's very simple. The algo was designed to find uh, overall big vertical possible moves in the market, whether you're trading futures, forex, stocks, currency, really doesn't matter what you trade. Um, it works universal, the same setup in all markets. So what we want to do then is we have a larger time frame over here. We have our, our entry time frame here. Uh, you want to look for the green dots that start printing off your larger time frame. This is your 8 Renko, uh, 8 Sim Renko bar. And this is your smaller time frame. This is your 5 Sim Renko bar for entries. And then what you want to do is you want to look for opposite color speed bars which, which, which we call volume spikes in the market, to look for potential bottoms. So when you do this, when you look for trade setups, when you look for setups, we want to look for these setups. When they come down, when they print these opposite color speed bars, and then you can use the oscillator below to pull yourself in, unless you have your own entry technique after these come up, which is fine. A lot of you guys use the uni bars, which is fine. Uh, but you want to look for a pull-in after these red bars start printing, looking for a reversal, because these are looking for a reversal. We're looking for a reversal in the market in the S&P. We got that big reversal. Then I said, <clears throat> if we get outside a high-value area today, look for a potential big move up, and that's what we did. High-value area was sitting right here at 4,500. Our red profile was sitting right exactly at 4,500 here over in red. I said if we violate that and we get above it, we look for an extreme bullish stance in the market. We're looking for a major push up. And sure enough, market profile and my algo combined for a nice trade. It pushed through high value area. That creates an extreme bullish situation in the market. We look for a retracement. We need these red bars, our boxes, these speed or volume spikes to fire off opposite of our ATR for the entry. So we need to get back into the zone, and we got back into it, and your entry was right here, right at the low of the zone. You did get above the oscillator, got above your 10% down here for an entry, and then uh, your fill right around 98, 98 and a quarter for that level there, and as high as an 11-point push. So the key is this, is that we want to look for opposite color speed bars, uh, against over ATR trend. We know the market can only do two things. It likes to do what? It likes to go vertical and it likes to go oscillate or be in chop. So typically three out of five days we get vertical markets like this and then we look for the market. We look for buy setups when these opposite color speed bars come in. So the whole methodology states this. We need these ATRs to start printing green or red, green for buys, red for sells. And then all we do is we wait for these volume spikes or these speed bars to start printing. Once they start printing, we look for an oscillator, oscillator down here to get below 10%, back above 10, 20 right there if you want to be a little bit more, uh, wait for confirmation of the move. And then we are off to the, off to the upside as far as that goes. You can see the zones are very, very uh, neat because they come down. It likes to bounce outside of the zones. The best ones are your first couple of zone trades when it hits the wave three, wave five, that's Elliott wave. 
I also like when the 8 Simrinko is printing green dots with the 5 Simrinko with the green dots also. That tells you that you got ultimate trend direction. You have a macro point of view pointing up and you have a micro point of view pointing up also. So that gives you total trend direction. You can use market profile over here uh, as a filter. Uh, the filter says this, very simple on market profile, it says this, if I am above my blue control point, that's the average of the most volume that's traded, I don't use a standard 30 minute chart like a lot of traders do. Um, I look at longer period profiling, which is very, very accurate. You can see if I'm above blue, I'm bullish. If I'm below blue, blue, I'm bearish. So if I get above blue, I'm looking to buy these ATR uh, pullbacks. If I get above blue and above red, meaning HBA, I'm extremely bullish. It punched above it. And once it punched above it, I said, look for that nice pullback buy. That's what we got here. Look at that snapback buy. It comes right down to my zone and explodes off of it for that nice 11-point uh, potential S&P point run. So now if I get back inside of high value area, if I get back inside now, if I push back inside of it and I close below it and we break these ATR dots, I'll be looking for red ATR dots to print and I'll look for the zone to come back up and get into that sell zone. Until then, you got to think bullish. We're bullish right here in my long-term chart. Everything is very, very bullish. Right here, you see red, green ATR dots, print, 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 print. This chart is your guide. This chart will guide you. This is my longer time frame that I put on my workspace that we put on your own computers. This is your largest time frame that you should be having on is that that told you that when these rolling position algos got uh, picked off right there, there's your volume spike to look for a potential reversal. When the 8 sim prints these bars, these opposite color speed bars, our volume spikes at key, uh, key ATR levels, look for a potential big move up. So again, we're getting one to print now. So now we got a potential move again to the upside. So what we'll do is we will watch to see if, it, if we get pulled in over here in an oscillator. So this oscillator needs to pull us in. And if we close two candles close below here, we'll forget to trade and we'll wait for the next setup. But that's pretty much how you do it. You look for, um, you look for these, uh, the longer time frame to print ATRs with a shorter time frame. Then you look for speed bars, opposite color speed bars. And then we look to, uh, to fire in the trade with this oscillator as far as below here. Now you can see we never got pulled in. Our oscillator went below the 10%, 20%, never got back below it. Our ATR dots now stop printing. Now that they stop printing, they stop printing over here also. Now we're going to look for a retracement possible short because we're back inside a high value area. Now we'll look for red possible ATR dots to start printing and look to sell the zone. And we'll look to sell this zone over here also. Okay.